We want to do our declaration. Please project it for us. But you want to start by following my words. Say, I proclaim Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. The Lord is my shepherd. Is the shepherd of my soul. The Lord is the shepherd of my soul. My shelter by day. My light by night. In his name, we plow our fields. By his spirit, we gather the harvest. In his light, we seek and find. In this year of gathering, the Lord of the harvest has commanded launch out into the deep. At his word, we cast our nets. We gather, we gather in the souls and substance for God's kingdom. The Lord is our reward. In this season, I receive God's portion set aside for me. Full measure Press down, shaking together, and running over. Nothing is lost. Nothing is wasted. Nothing is lost. Nothing is wasted. Nothing is lost. Nothing is wasted. In Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together and take your seat. Amen. We'll be doing this declaration every Sunday. Because of COVID, we suspend all this, but we are coming out fully. And I believe as you declare these things, your life will see change. Amen. Um, I started a series, and today I'll be finishing on planning. Um, I have to suspend because of the conference and preach something else. But today we want to conc uh, conclude on the topic planning. Um, before that, please, church, the month of February is our month of loving the Lord. Tell somebody, it's a month of loving the Lord. Please, there is no best times like these times to love God. In fact, the best times you have to love God is when you think, see that the world is taking some shape. And whatever is happening is prophecy. So if there are better times for you to love God, it is now. Tell somebody, it is now. It is now. That is Luke 14 verse 28 to, 20, to 30. I want you to project the first scripture, Luke 14, 28 to 30, our foundational scripture. Luke 14, verse 28 to 30. Luke 14, verse 28 to 30. Luke 14. Hey, what verse is this one? Luke 14, verse 20. King James, let's start from the beginning. Let's start from 28. For which of you intending to build a tower, sit not down first and count the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it. 29. Okay, that's what we read. Anyway, that's what we read. Now, let's look at Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6 to 11. Travel it. And thou wants as a hand man. So, these are our key scriptures that talk to us that it is very necessary to plan. You can't just say, I want to build a house, and you don't plan. You must plan whatever you want to do. So we will look at our key scriptures, and today we want to look at the top three levels of planning. The top three. In planning, we have top three levels that we plan. Number one, we look at what we call strategic planning. So in, even though planning is good, there are ways you need to plan. Hello? There are ways you need to. There are ways you need to. Yeah, so, so I'm planning. Oh, let me wear blue, black. And put. You know, you can plan to wear a dress. But because you have not really. You are not strategic enough to know whether it is trending. You may wear it, but you realize that no, you have done a mess. So it is very, very important to consider these three levels. Strat one, number one, strategic planning. Strategic planning includes plans made by top leadership or a person, let's put it that way, to pursue long-term goals. Strategic plan is plan that, I mean, in, I mean it, it includes plan made by a, a leader or a person to pursue a long-term goal with the resources 
likely to be available. Likely because you may have a strategic plan and you can work the resources towards that or you already have the resources. So it is very, very important. And if I can tell you, if you really want to succeed this year, you must have a strategic plan. Hello? Ah. You must have a strategic plan. You know, I heard something. I don't know how through is it, but I heard it from key people. I think they are working. The Minister of House and Town Planning or whatever they call it. Now they are coming out with a strategy because the Association of La uh, House Owners have come out with plan <laughs> to go and meet this minister to ensure that certain things is aligned to their clients. So a time will come you will not be at PJ, uh, and then you are taking 10,000. Somebody in Splinters is taking 10,000. You are taking 10,000 CDs, but Splinters is taking $10,000. You see? So the structures are coming. There are some that are heavy and will come on you very heavily. I pray that by the time it comes, God has given you your own house. Yeah. You don't have faith. Oh. <laughs> so, they are planning. We've been in this country when we were very young. We heard of uh, Vision 2030. 30. Have you not heard? God, yeah. We have Vision 2030. Some have Vision 5050. 2050 and all that. This, they term strategic plan. They are planning ahead so that, I mean, we will be able to care certain things. So it's very, very necessary that you don't wait for a coin, but as an individual, you must have a strategic plan. You must have a strategic plan for your life. You don't live one at a time. I heard people say, hmm, I mean, no, sure, we live one at a time. And so when you get all the money today, say, hey, mommy, I mean, so, I mean, so you just go and use the money to, to one yam, then you finish it. Then the next morning, you are waiting on God. And I pray from God for one day, and can I come back home? <laughs> but we, we need to plan ahead. You need to be strategic. I can tell people that uh, one thing about ICDC, I mean, that we've worked over the years for excellence is that when we go to train, they will tell you that the, the God we serve, the Holy Ghost, is not an altar of confusion. You can't come and stand and do things when we say, Nyamin Kukoko is there, but you must plan whatever you want to do. And the Holy Spirit, who is a spirit of order, will fill in what you have planned. So I've been talking to my people here that this year you can't do things anyhow. Or whether you like it or not, there are people who have been built with the mentality of ICGC that when they come to church, they must see it. So uh, you can't say, Oh, the Holy Spirit, so me be say, and let me share shorts. Now if I bow tie being bomb me now my friend, you will leave me before I finish preaching. So you must have a plan. Whatever you want to achieve, you must have that strategic plan. How are you going to achieve this in the next year? In a few years. I thank God. When I started teaching of going to school, I think my people are leaving me and they are going to school. And Ghana school, so they will go to school on Sunday, uh, Saturday, and all those things. But it's all good. Amen. So tell somebody, have a strategic plan. Now, so what, what does it involve? When we talk about strategic plan, what, what does it involve? Number one, strategic planning involves one, formulating a mission for your future, for your family, for, for yourself. Formulating a mission for your entire I mean, life, whatever you want to achieve for yourself. You want to have this. How do you go about it? Have a, have a mission. This is how I'm going to go about it. And after going after it, I can be able to get this and that. Now, watch those businessmen and market women who are very strategic. They tell you that when they take a bowl of fish to the market, at the end of the day, when they sell, they should be able to make this amount. And those who are very diligent and focused, they sell and they make exact amount. Hello? Uh. Customers, and you can even take the other people's customers to build your customer base so you can make impact. Sack them! Sack them! They are taking the market. Sack them! Because what you go and take and sell 100% increase, he will take and sell with 1%. But he knows that over a year, he will build his, his customer base. And when he build his customer base, then when he increase a little, you are crying, ah, go to China more. They open every day. Go to Melcom. 
You go and buy something from Mercom, 10 CD. You go to China Mall, it is 7 CD. And this 7 CD, it has been with over, over time, they've increased to 7 CD. When very soon, Mercom will increase 15 CD. Please, this is not spirit. This is planning. Imagine the scripture that says, God inhabit the praises of his people. I can also tell you, God, God doesn't inhabit any kind of praise. Hello? Because the word praises there doesn't mean praise in the worship, like what my son Chris did, singing alone. But praises has to do with your worship. The way you worship God. So when the Bible says God inhabits their praise, God goes to praise places that uh, inhabit praises that is in order. Hello? Inhabit praises that is in order. A pastor called me, who is one I see? He said, he said so how? Your pastor cry, how does he do it? I said, what? He said, Charlie, the man is teaching, teaching, but the church is growing. We have done all that, Jim Rikuto, it's still the same. And I said, okay, when you went to the church, what did you observe? He said, Charlie, all that. One of the fathers were chatting and he said, yeah. He preached for daddy. He preached for Dr. Otabel. And they told him, dog will be with you in 15 minutes. Exactly 50 minutes. Dog walk into the room. He said, okay. He chat, 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 chat. He said, dog will be with you 15 minutes. You will move from where you are to a particular location to have fellowship in five minutes. So 15 plus five. So dog enter and five minutes they finished talking and they were there. He said, ah! They said, from here, you are going to the pulpit. In 25 minutes, You'll be going to the pulpit. Exactly 25 minutes, he was standing on the pulpit. He said, ah. he said it's not how. You might think it is structure and this thing. But I asked him, so whatever you were supposed to fulfill, you know, he said, ah, I, I, I got fulfilled and everything was fine. And I was, wow. I said, yes, this one is not the Holy, it's not the, the, uh, it's not the Holy Spirit who, who says so. It was planned and the Holy Spirit was okay with it and it happened. My dear, don't tell me that you can blow in tongues when Sebi Sebi, who found who ye, and a, a, a standard man you want or a standard woman you want will come to you. They may, your prayer may draw them though, but your structure will suck them away. Ah, when I was going to meet my wife for the first I planned. My perfume was solid. Yes. He says, meat. So, you are trying to buy it. So, you go and enter the motor forest. Kabu, kaka, kabu, kabu, kabu. Then you sweat. I say, huh? I'm going to meet her with the anointed of God. Your smell alone will suck her 200 meters from you. And I tell you, the Holy Spirit will not take blame for that. When I met her, my perfume was on her mind till the next day. Not only my perfume, my English. I'll make sure. Oh, then I bought it. Yes, I bought it. Yes, I'm wearing. Who shall stand at that? Meet the person at a certain level. I'm not saying God is not faithful. I've seen people say, "Be, say, be." I mean, from money, them. Oh, who start? Oh, who said? Oh, who said? I'm here for. But I'll buy. I'll go to one. I'll buy my. I'll go to no. Say, God will balance so that their children will look nice. God, God has a way of balancing it. Even among pastors, when we say, go, go, shall we not be, shall we go to? Even among pastors, we say, no, say, no, we have to cry. I don't know, I know, there's my children, there's my children, there's my children. There is something about women. What they look out for is not what you look out for. But there should be something, you need. Let, let me, please, this is not spirit, let me tell you. There is no way an intellectual person, a intellectual woman, will go in for a caricature man unless there is something behind so planning is very important. And as I end this series today, what I'm saying is that you need to be strategic in your planning. Everything you want to achieve, you have to be strategic. Please. I told you some time ago about the bankers. Is that not it? Some of them, where they live, some live in Nima, some in the corner of Labadi somewhere. But so far as we are a marketing officer in the bank, they make sure they give you clothing allowance to wear good suits. 
and they give you nice cars. That, and you see, most of the time when they are going to work, they join not they don't wear the jacket. They don't not but immediately they get to the office, they are put in an air-conditioned car. You must wear a six inches pencil for the women, and the men, you have to look good. They put you in a nice car. So you can go and sell their product. What? They go and sell in millions of Ghana cities. But when they finish, when they close for the day, they join the trotter and go home. And I remember there was a time a friend wanted to marry a banker. And so Difo, only Nyami Difo, she mommy, she mommy, she mommy. And then I was so into when I look at it, so it can be possible. We started praying, praying, praying. And the guy, girl was giving my friend tough time. I said, go. So he eventually, I mean, in fact, he borrowed my dependent company. That I had one suit. He borrowed my suit, borrowed my, uh, Bernard's suit, borrowed about three of us our suit. So anytime he's going to visit the lady in the office, he put on borrowed suit. But how can you know? Then, after chasing the lady for six months, so I never pay my, pay my tough time. So he decided the lady will not show him his house and uh, her house and all that. So he decided to follow the lady one day to go and locate where the lady lives. So he waited until the lady closed. And no bank, they closed late, seven, eight o'clock. After clearing your desk, you are not going. Open an hour for taxi. No, at a taxi driver, was a car he followed the lady just to know that the lady is living at a papa, la a papa in the corner somewhere. So the lady, the car and all those things, the lady joined Trotro. I see, mm. I see, 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 I so, from cantonment, you enter to a papa. Then the lady went through some lungu lungu. Soon, soon of love, no. I said, ah, it's a corner way, no, shepa. No, mama brown, who's her? He paid the driver. I said, my num, who? Taxi driver said, no, what the car? What boka? No, what the driver? Taxi, no, 90 years. Or bare He nearly killed the girl. I said, mama, brego. This is foolish love. So you realize that at one stage the lady is strategically positioned because he was he was dressed she was dressed to go and look for big customer for the bank, but at the point he was a nobody. If you don't strategically position yourself for a miracle to come to you, you may pray and pull the miracle by prayer, but you will not receive it. But that is not your portion this year. Tell somebody be strategic. Tell somebody to be strategic. All right, so I said strategic involves formulating a mission for yourself. Number two, identifying identifying that which will help you to meet the mission. Identifying that which will help you to meet the mission. So you have a mission. Let's say, for example, I sell pencils. I have a strategy that by the close of month, I should be able to cover about 1,000 students. Okay? What? How are you going to achieve that? I hope you are getting me. This one, I'm using the word, this is not spirit. It's not soon soon. It's thinking. I don't want us to miss it. I mean, soon soon we plan. Please, there. Are, when you have finished planning, when you have done what you need to do, and things are not kicking, then the spirit of God can come in. But I tell you, I can be. I can tell you honestly, as you start, you start by prayer. As you plan, the Holy Spirit will guide you. So, so far as you have a plan, there will be a fulfillment. I pray for you this year. May you be strategic in your thinking. In whatever you do, be strategic. Tell somebody be strategic. Number four. And number three, forgive me. Number one, formulating a mission. Number two, identify that which will help to meet a mission. Number three, determine what is required or determine 
the requirement to meet that vision. So, I have a plan. In this year, I want to get this. This is the way I'm going to do it. What do you require? For instance, I want to sell 10 pence. I've mentioned it. This is how I'm going to go about it. What is required? Maybe financial requirement or human resources. Whatever is required, now you need to look out for it. Amen? Amen. So, we, we are doing church. By God's grace, we are here. When we started, we will start with fellowship. From what required? We need instruments. Is that not it? We have instruments. What next? You need personality. You need human. So, whatever you are looking out for, you must ask for the requirement that will help you to achieve it. I pray this year for you. Whatever you require to fulfill that dream, whatever you require to establish that business, whatever you require to move to the next level, may the Lord give it to you. I say, may the Lord give it to you. Any financial requirement, any instrument, any equipment, whatever you need to get you to the next level of your blessing, of that business, of that establishment, I pray in the name of Jesus. That is the reason why you are in church. That the Lord will speak upon your life. I speak upon your life that this week there will be a testimony. This week there will be an open door. This week, if it is finances you need, may the Lord give it to you. If it is human resources, if it is company, if it is a connection, whatever you need to get there, may the door be open unto you. Uh -uh. If it's partnership you need, may they come to you by the direction of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, Moses, what do you have in your hands? You need to have something in your hands for the Lord to move you. I pray in the name of Jesus. Because you have an idea in your hands and you need some things, you require some money, you require some tools, some human resources. This week, may the Lord surprise you. I say, may the Lord surprise you. Am I in church at all? I prophesy to that business. I prophesy to that vision. I decree and declare it will not die because you have strategic plan and you are trusting God to move you to the next level. May angels be sent your way. May good Samaritans be sent your way. You will achieve that dream. That business will be established and it will bless many generations. Look, that business need not to fail because you are employing people to work in that business and because you have people in mind, may the Lord establish that business. If you need financiers to come in, this week receive financiers. If you need documents to go forward, receive those documents. Am I talking to somebody here? If you are the one, shout, I am the one. Hallelujah. Amen. God will give you that requirement. Number four. Number one, from late mission. Number two, identify that which is need to meet the mission. Number three, whatever you need as a requirement. Number four, you need to work out authority relationship in terms of the vision or the mission, in terms of the mission structure. What I mean is that, listen, whatever dream you have, whatever mission you have, you need people to help you. So this time around, you build relationship. Last year, if that dream was not realized because you were not having the right friends or the right people to support you, I stand on the word of God today. God sent Paul to Ananias, the prophet, that prepare my son, that which he has caused my kingdom, I'm about to use him to restore. Remember Paul was killing the people. God directed him. Am I speaking to somebody? God will direct people your way this week. May God give you the divine idea to build solid relationship. Listen, in life, eh, some of us, we need only one person that can change our lives. We need only one person. You get one person who carry all that you need to push you to the top. This week, may the Lord bring that person your way. Oh, I am teaching and prophesying you. I said this week, may the Lord bring that person your way. You know, you've not been there before. When you are looking for something, huh, and you have gone to all the big, big shops and you are not getting. 
And they tell you, go to Mokola and San Penye Corner. Somebody tell you, ah, what are you looking for? And so, oh, I've been to the bishop and the person will hold your hand and you take you to the specific place you will get that thing. Oh, you've not explained that before. Then today it will be your experience. Whatever you need to get the business, the vision for it. May the Lord send an angel to hold your hands. And may he bring us straight to who will help you. I see your helper coming this week. I say, I see your helpers coming this week. Wherever they are, may the angels of God be activated. Whoever needs to help you this week to get you into your vision, to get you into your dream, may they come in the name of Jesus. Ah, you will finish that building project, that housing project, that property. It will come out because you want to rent it and make money. That business helpers will come. Somebody shout my help has come. They will come. Helpers who need to take their property to build, to lease for years so you can get the money for them. They will come. May the Lord bring them quickly. May the angels of the east, may the angels of the west, may the angels of the north, may the angels of the south gather your helpers that beginning from today after service. May you start, some of you have phone calls. May you receive that phone call. That good phone call. May it come to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Next week I'll continue the two. But I need to finish this. Oh my God. I'm finishing it today. Number two, let me jump some. So number one is strategic plan. I'll give you some points. Number two, tactical planning. Someone say tactical planning. I'll finish in five minutes. Say tactical planning. Tactical planning specify how the mission of the, of the person can be accomplished. Tactical plan specify how the mission of a person can be accomplished. And, it, in, and when we want to break it down, this is what it involves. Number one, product or the person's business, your business, whatever you want to do, huh? or service to be added or delete, deleted. Let me explain. I mean, your business, which is your product, and then all your services to be added or deleted. We have already said that tactical planning specifies how the mission of you can be accomplished. So, you want to look at the mission you want to do. Which one do I need to work on? Which product or services do I need to render? Which one do I need to? Because sometimes, now let me show you something. I'm going to, I mean, my friend's place. After preaching in Dansuma, I went to his place, uh, Bishop Kwaofio. Uh, uh, yes. The conference was fiery. Uh, you know, he fired us very well. Yeah. So, when I finished, and I said, my brother, come and let's have lunch. So I went to my family. We were eating. When they brought the first food, they served me nice one. And I finished it. But the second one, the pepper was serious. So, <laughs> then the lady came, so sorry, that. But you know, in our, and the caterer was also a pastor there. The one who cooked the food. And so, you know, um, we just decided to, to, so they brought me the nice one to chop, and the second one, the pepper. So I <laughs> I realized that after finishing that, Charlie, let my name is me. So I wanted you guys to also taste this one. Then there was a third product, and that was the fruit juice. It was well packaged. I said, Was oh, there a foreign juice? No, no, no. The person who did this juice is in his church. So there is uh, apple ginger, there is uh, moringa ginger, and then. Uh, Watermelon and all those things. So I picked the moringa one. Oh man. When I finished the moringa, I said, Master, the thing is sweet. Oh. That is, the guy is here. I'll need more in my house. So they should call it. Oh, wait. Taste the next one. I took the um, 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 watermelon with something mixed. I said, Ah, this is crazy. This is nice. Then the lady herself came and said, Okay, now I will serve you more. And show you. So we got about 50 pieces, right? 50 pieces. When I finished the, by the time it was left with five, I was doing calling. But the, the person's uh, uh, high chest is with me. 
I have not. Your ethically is wrong to keep the ashes and you call for me. <laughs> But the other ones too, I tasted. When I said, mm, I gave it to my wife. I, I wasn't a bully. I wasn't too bad. She had also taken good night. So I said, mm, yeah, this one, I don't want it. Then he said, oh, that is not bad. I said, mm-hmm. So the one I don't want, mm, drink. It's not bad. The one that is good for me, I drink. You need to be very tactical in your service. Whatever you want to do, is it? don't allow people away. You know, when Ariba came, came, Ghana, we are funny. Everybody, you can walk through speed there, and everybody, Ariba, Ariba, Ariba. And that is one lesson we have learned from our father, Dr. Tabel. See, he has kept to his vision, he has kept to his teaching, and all those things. I'm not saying other gifts. We are all, I'm a prophet. He's not. He's an apostle. He teaches the word and all that. But what I'm trying to say is that whatever you are doing, be tactical. Be very tactful about it. Know which one you should send first. Some of you, eh, it's not that you are not nice. Oh. You are nice, but when they send you to a best place, the worst that will come on you, you will lose everything. You don't know, you are not tactful enough. That's what that business is, I mean, lacking. But I pray that you'll be very tactful in your planning. That whatever you want to go there, you know what to take first. Amen. You know, the banks, people will send, if you're a male, they'll send you a nice female. She will confuse you with the dressing in, in slang and English. When you give them your money, you go back for your money there for Allah. Yes. One of my members, uh, my, my friends in the school, counselor, Reverend Bwati, he put his money on one scale, Okakodi, see head card and whatever card, and they all do. If you take it now, you lose some percentage. He was mad all over the place. I said, Why? Well, you should have sent this money to direct to your, your contract, whatever you are doing. It was building. What am I trying to tell you? Be tactful. Tell somebody be tactful. You must, anytime you also want to, I mean, fulfill your dream, you must know the size, the amount you need, the financial requirement. You know? There's a, a lady on Swinton's. I don't know how he gets the money, but you want to drop out a seat? All right. Are you all right? Are you fine? Good. Bless you. It's not well. I know it's not fine. Yeah. So, watch this. <laughs> but that is not fine. No. <laughs> are distracting me. Know the size of your fa- I have seen a lady on Sprinter's Road here. I went in because I saw some nice shoes. And then he put some two nice clothes. And he has rented a show very big like this room. But when I entered, I realized that nobody was buying. Ah. So as I was going inside, there's a spiritual bit of it, but there's a physical bit. So sleep on and I seen tin tiny and daddy. So, ah, what's happening? But when you are driving, you see the shop. It's very, it has put light in It's nice. But nobody is buying. I entered. I look at the shoe. And so how much is this shoe? 5.5. 600 Ghana cities. How much is this your top? Long sleeves. This one is 350 Ghana cities. I didn't talk. I said, Madam, you are very beautiful and very intelligent. I am not here to damn you or anything. What's the shoe here saying? Do you know what? Because everybody on the Sprinters Road, their shoe is 5 million, 6 million because of the shop, the dollar and all that. You, your shop is not dollar shop. Oh, they forget it. I don't think anybody who pay dollars on the Sprinters Road will go and print top, top man shoes, commercial shoes, and compare the price 500. So, I mean, I tell you, every little man ever, little man sign. Yeah, yeah, I share from Lumeana and Yamia Bresni. Crap, we are a more shabby differ. So this Lume shed five million. Lume Manu Asiana, see, ah, mommy, then, oh, yeah, I tell them better and run the center. Madame will be able to talk to you a crap. Otto, one fifty. Fresh, no crap, one fifty. I didn't know, Queen, yes, sir. Oh, Madame, my tire. And he, he, he mentions Morovia. This is from Morovia. I said, Morovia, and you have a Biao. 
What would you say? Every year, but now in February, now more of the idea. But it's not true. My dear, cut your coat according to your your clothes, your size. So the finances you require, don't go and look at something you cannot pay. Many of us want to start a business and you want to go and loan money and make it shishing. Meanwhile, the goals you have, when you even say, oh, cannot pay the loan. Please, leave the shishing to the people who have gone ahead of you. With time, gradually, you will make it bad. My, 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 my people, I can tell you if I live on say and I want to do business, eh, like the Chinese are closing people's shop. Eh? Who will close some people. Because you see, yes, the thing is expensive. It's a standard area. One go far. Standard people here will not buy. But make sure that whatever you are bringing to the market, it is quality and it will meet the standard of people you want to attract. If you don't have the money, start from where you want. You have what you have. Please don't be big when you are not big. Start small and you'll be big tomorrow. Amen. Could, uh, please give me one minute. I'll finish. The next one, I'm not. The next point, and I'm done. The next point, number three, opera operational fine, uh, planning. Operational planning. I'll talk about it. I don't give points. I'll talk about it. Operational planning. Operational planning works out the basic details of how the specific task can be accomplished. Ah, so my all this one, my PowerPoint is not presented. Oh wow. You, okay, you don't have this one. Okay, fine. Okay, operational planning. Are you writing? Operational planning works out the basic details of how the specific task can be accomplished with the available resources. Operational planning works out the basic details of how the specific task can be accomplished with the available resources. So, I have 10,000. I want to go into second-hand clothing. Mm -hmm. What and what and what do I need to get this one done? And can my money be able to get this item at this level? You understand? I keep telling people, you know, when we were in Tema before, when I say I'm visiting people, they don't want me to come. They said, oh, Papa, don't worry, I'm fine. I'll be coming to church. I'm fine. I'll bring people. I said, no. It's not about people. As a shepherd, I have to care for my flock. So once in a while, I visit people. In fact, it was a, uh, it was, it was a serious force of resistance. But I took it upon myself that if you don't want me to come, I'll come by all means. So I'll invite, I'll tell you, I'll ask who knows your house. Then I'll just come around. Then I know that those who are wearing Louis, uh, Louis, Louis Gouton shoes, and all that, not knowing, maybe I'm going share what to grow me. Hey, ready, yes. To grow me, one rama. Open with that. Share. Hey, ready. This room, this pillar, I think, let me use it first. From here, straight to the wall, divided into two. In somebody say my bedroom and hall. And even the bedroom, eh, we have about four or five people living. Uh -huh. But your PS here, Louis Gouton. Polo share, polo this. Expensive way, I say, wow. And when you're behind the catcher, we have met, me, me and my wife, we, have, we have seen people, a shop we went to, to buy. We see people who go and, what do you say? What do you say? My English work cry is gone. High purchase. If you go on, I'm going to have a card. Where a hundred, two hundred. I'm going to have a card. It's a sorry. So for us, we are going to evangelism here. He said, Papa, I mean, I'll go with this group. Because when you pass here, the shop will now work with. One Saturday, I got there. We're going to evangelism committee. Committee four. Where? Committee four. Where, where this uh, school is uh, Chemu, Chemu Secondary School. Behind Chemu, there's a boutique shop in the corner. When we were walking on the street and sharing, immediately my co <laughs> evangelist, I can't just realize that he has taken this way. And he said, I said, ah, 
not knowing the shop owner has spotted long time. If you are crying with you, Pastor, Pastor, Pastor. When you say funny low national high, we are coughing in high on or shall see. Please don't give the Holy Ghost more way. That's why certain prayers were not answered. And you think God has forgiven, uh, God has rejected you. Please do things according to your level. Do things according to your level. And please, if you can dress well for God to glorify you and try for you, dress well. Don't go in uh, high patches and you can't pay. Oh, I can tell you on this note I'm done. I can tell you that the rich, when you see the rich eating, it will shock you. Small here, small there. But what are we needing? Hey, mommy, you know me crying. Tell me you poke at here. Mommy, you poke near, son. First near, seventeen cities. Yeah, Chimo, we're twenty cities. Oh, eh, and then Chimo. You get money, you eat Chimo. Please, I don't say don't enjoy your life, oh. But you know, I'm closing with the scripture. Proverbs 6. Go to the earth. My dear, this year, our dinner was here, I said, gathering, gather a blessing. But if you don't plan your life and add the principles and, and move, I tell you, another term will come, another thing will come, and you have not done anything. There are things you can pray and ask God. There are things you cannot blame God. Don't do things over your level. Whatever you will do, plan it. And as you plan it, God will give you the result. God bless you. Rise on your feet.